Hello friends, if you are having trouble with CAT VARC, then please try Bodhi Prep's VARC course designed by me. For details, read the message in the video description below. Let's take this question. The question says, the passage says, both Socrates and Bacon were very good at asking useful questions. In fact, Socrates is largely credited with coming up with a way of asking questions, the Socratic method, which itself is at the core of the scientific method popularized by Bacon. So this is basically the first sentence. The Socratic method disproves the arguments by finding exceptions to them. So it disproves the argument by finding exceptions to them and can therefore lead your opponent to a point where they admit something that contradicts their original position. In common with Socrates, Bacon stressed it was as important to disprove a theory as it was to prove one. So basically, Bacon goes a step ahead and says it was important, as important to uh, uh, disprove a theory as it was to prove one. And real-world observation and experimentation were key to achieving both aims. And what is that aim? To prove a theory and to disprove one, right? Bacon also saw science as a collaborative affair with scientists working together, challenging each other. So proving and disproving was both important to Bacon and Socrates. Now let's have a look at the options. The options are very, very, very short in the sense that if you look at A, B, C, D statements, I mean, they don't have more than nine or 10 words. And that goes to show that there must be some very, very subtle difference between the options. So option A says both Socrates and Bacon advocated clever questioning of the opponents to disprove their arguments and theories. So clever questioning to disprove and both Socrates and Bacon advocated challenging arguments and theories by observation and so here it says clever questioning to disprove and here it says challenging arguments and theories by observation and experimentation. But uh, yes, I mean this is important uh, in the sense that uh, if you look at A it says it is clever questioning and B says it is challenging, advocated challenge, but how was that challenging happening? It was, it was happening by, 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 by clever questioning. So B is not so good as A. That is what happens. I mean, if you look at the, if you look at the passage, it says that the Socratic method disproves arguments by finding exceptions to them and therefore can lead your opponent to a point where they admit something that contradicts their original position. Both Socrates and Bacon were very good at asking useful questions. In fact, Socrates is largely credited with the coming up with, uh, uh, with a way of asking questions. So basically, asking questions was one of the ways by which. So if I compare A with B, I feel that clever questioning is slightly better than challenging arguments. And then A says to disprove them. But the passage says that proving at this proving both was equally important because it says here Bacon stressed it was as important to disprove a theory as it was to prove one and real world observation and experimentation were key to achieving both aims and in the sense that both proving and disproving was equally important and C says both Socrates and Bacon advocated confirming arguments and theories by finding exceptions. Now are they confirming arguments? Are they challenging arguments? or are they examining arguments? I mean, we must try to understand all these. So option A says clever questioning of the opponents. Option B says challenging arguments and theories by observation and experimentation, but where are the opponents? I mean, if you look at all these statements, they all, they all have something or the other missing in them. Option A says both Socrates and Bacon advocated clever questioning of the opponents to disprove. So it says only to disprove. B says both Socrates and Bacon advocated challenging arguments and theories by observation and experimentation. But the questioning part is missing and again the disproving and the proving part is equally important. So B is not so good as A. Both Socrates and Bacon advocated confirming arguments. Again it is not confirming arguments but rather examining, questioning or challenging. So this is again not the right. So if you look at D, D basically has everything. It says both Socrates and Bacon advocated what examining arguments. So when you are, when you are examining arguments, you are examining f both either to confirm or to basically challenge them. And theories from both sides. So this is also equally important from both sides in the sense that you look at it to prove one 
or also look at it from the other's perspective and you can also disprove so basically both proving and disproving is going on and therefore they 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 look at the arguments from the both sides to prove them and therefore d is better than a because the word both sides is equally important because it says here with scientists working together and challenging each other that means both the sides is equally important and examining arguments uh, is better than confirming arguments clever questioning is correct in a but again it only captures half of the part it says just to disprove them but it is basically both proving and disproving because even here it says in common with socrates bacon stressed it was as important to disprove a theory as it was to prove one so both the sides are equally important and that's why to disprove will go out option d is the best choice